Excuse me, sorry, um, excuse me. I hate to bother you, but do you have anything to eat? Oh, yeah. Uh, here, let me come bring you something. Oh, no, 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 that's okay. I'll come to you. Ah, thank you. You're welcome. You know, at first I thought you were somebody else. Who did you think I might be? I don't know. Somebody... I kind of been expecting. Somebody I thought I've been seeing around lately. Well, what does he look like? Not sure. More and more, he's starting to look like a friend. You thought I was death? I considered the possibility. You ain't, are you? Now why would death be eating crackers? I was trying to figure out the same thing. I don't want them. You know, in Mexico, it is customary to set a place at the table for death on certain days out of the year. But perhaps you already knew this. Yes. He's got a big appetite. Yes, he does. Perhaps a few crackers would be taken as an insult. Perhaps he takes what he can get. Maybe in death size, the offerings of the poor are equal to the offerings of the rich. Maybe he weighs the gifts of men in their own light. Like... like God? Yes. Like God. Are you... are you God? Now why would God be eating crackers? You've been hurt by him, haven't you? By death or, or by God? Does it matter? No. I've had enough of death and God for one life. Tell me. You know, when you're a kid, you have these notions about how things are going to be. You think you're going to be one thing and one thing only. That you're going to be the best one to do that one thing out of everyone else who could do it. I knew a kid like that once. John Grady. Yeah, so when you're a kid, you think you have all these notions of how things are going to turn out. And then, as you get older, you, try, you start to kind of pull back on some of that. You realize you're just trying to minimize the pain. This country changed. The war changed everything. I agree. I just think people don't recognize it yet. What do you think will happen if Mac really does lose his ranch? I don't know. I suppose he'll go do his own thing. What do you think he'll do? I don't know. I don't know. I don't think I'll ever be able to leave. I love this land. Love everything about it. Yeah. Let's go for a ride. It looks a lot better from up here than it does down there, don't it? Yes, it does. There's a lot of things look better at a distance. Yeah? I think so. I guess there are. Like what? The life you've lived, for one. Heck, maybe some of it that you ain't lived yet, too. That land was beautiful. It was untamed, pure. No one can do anything to it. Like the boy. Yeah, except eventually they did something to it. Like the boy? Like the boy. What hurt him? Same thing that hurts every man. Satan had the power to assume a pleasing form. Them big blue eyes knew more ways to turn a man's head than the devil's grandmother. Heck, she wasn't more than 17. So, what happened? He did what every man does with a whore. Only thing is, after time, he started doing what every man does with the woman that he loves. Poor kid. He even tried to propose to her. Tried? 
His love for her drew the attention of another. Her pimp, Eduardo. What did he do? I found her body in the river three days later, her throat gaping open. She couldn't have been more than 17. What happened next? One of them was gonna meet the devil in hell before the night was over. Suter, I assume you've uh, gone to pay the money you owe me. I've come to kill you, or be killed. Of course you did. You know, before this I was willing to forgive you. I didn't come to talk. No, you didn't. You haven't been in many fights. Come on, I'll give you every advantage. It's like a, it's like a first kiss. You see, the problem with farm boys like you is you fail to recognize the most elementary fact concerning whores. Is that they are whores. All of this for a whore. And I've been drifting ever since. I lost everything. The land. Friends, my life, I tell you everything. Everything goes away. Nothing stays forever. Maybe so. Well, thank you, friend, for the food and the story. You're welcome. You know, fate is an interesting thing. Our lives follow a path we never could have imagined. Only the God who formed the world knows what your life will be mind for that matter. He knows when things come and when they will go. We as men cannot control the workings of God, or for that matter, the workings of death. Maybe it's one of the hardest lessons in this world. When things are gone, they're gone. They ain't coming back. Men imagine that the choices before them are theirs to make, but we are free to act only upon what is given. Choice is lost in the maze of generations, and each act in that maze is itself an enslavement, for it voids every alternative and binds one ever more tightly into the constraints that make up what they call their life. 